This has been really nice. Yeah, I'd, it has. Yeah, I'd like to do this again, if you wanted to. Sure. When? Next Monday. Next Monday sounds lovely. Can I tell you something? Sure. Okay, um, I don't normally tell people this. Sure. Okay. Sometimes I, I don't always tell the truth. What do you mean? I'm a pathological liar. That <laughs> doesn't mean everything I've said tonight is a lie. Sorry. So... Pathological lying is when you consistently say things that aren't true. They... They don't know why I do it. There... There aren't any drugs I can... Hey, hang on. Sorry, I just... Can take. But... The stuff that you told me tonight... How much of that was... I... I can't admit that. I can... I can only admit certain things if... If you press me. Can I press you? Sure. The stuff about your ex-boyfriend stalking you. Yes. Was he really missing an ear? Yes. All true. How... How do I know if you're lying? Is this place yours? My mum's. You're lucky. Why? She's dead. She died when I was seven. She was always somewhere overseas anyway. I have all this stuff she sent me from Vietnam and Taiwan. In the end, they just sent me back her ashes. Is that true? Here, let me show you something. It's my little yellow book. It's like a black book, but instead of having boys in it, it has lies. How would I look up the story about your mother that you told me? It would be under M for mum. My therapist likes to keep things in order. <laughs> but you can only look through it when you absolutely have to. And your ex-boyfriend without the ear. Do you absolutely need to know whether my ex-boyfriend had an ear or not? I mean... Can be fun. Last guy I was seeing used to like it. We'd play this game where I'd see how far I could push him before he knew it wasn't true. That doesn't sound fun to me. We can try. Come sit next to me. Should I start with the time I made love to an entire football team? You don't expect me to believe that. I can describe it in perfect detail. The way they touch every single inch of my body. But they're rough, broken, and what happened to your ex boyfriend? I killed him. He's downstairs in the laundry cupboard. <sighs> That's not true. I'm calling it. 
You're a good liar. Do you want to go down and see? This might put you off, so just say. But can I bind your hands? Sure. Is that your ex-boyfriend? Sorry, I, I keep meaning to throw that away. No way! He's actually missing an ear. You were telling the truth. Normally people like it when I tell the truth. Yeah, at this rate you won't be a liar at all. What are you doing with that? I'll be right back. Where, where are you going? there for ages. I must have fallen asleep. Oh, you're lying. I'm no liar. I thought you would have worked that out by now. 
All the windows and the doors have the security screens on them. Except for the one in the bedroom. I wouldn't lie. I made some extra toast if you want some. I'm booked in with my psychologist next week. That's good. We've got a lot to talk about. Yeah. I should probably just get going. I'll see you around. Simon. What what I did last night was was screwed up and I am a shit person. I I'm not a serial killer. I I'm just a boring girl from the suburbs. I wanted you to like me. I, oh, I want you to have this. How do I know if it's true? You could write whatever you want in there. I'm not asking you to go on a date with me again. But if you wanted to go for coffee, that would be, that would be great. If I was to say next Monday, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> 